we decided to make a video to discuss the effect of the COVID vaccine on various fertility treatments and how safe it is for different uh, people wanting to undergo fertility treatments to take the vaccine. Uh, here with me is Grima, who's one of our consultants in the fertility department. Grima, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, hi everybody. Uh, I am Garima and I am the clinical lead for the fertility department at Homerton. And I understand it's a very anxious time for people when they're coming for the fertility treatment and they obviously want to have more understanding about the COVID-19 vaccine. So this session is very brief update and what the guidance is. Thank you. Um, so we've had a lot of questions about um, whether people of reproductive age should be taking uh, a COVID vaccine and should be receiving it. Oh, absolutely. I would say absolutely. And I'm very aware that now the cohort is going to be uh, of people who are 35 years and below as well. So very soon, lots of people who are visiting the clinic and having the fertility treatment are going to be advised to be taking the COVID vaccine. And I'll say, please, please, please go for it. And there's absolutely no evidence which has been published by the British Fertility Society and other relevant bodies who work there. Uh, to say that it affects the male or the female fertility in any way. So I would completely endorse it. Please go ahead and take the injection. And that's for all of the vaccines? Uh, just one thing about, yes, you can take any vaccine. The one thing that they have come with AstraZeneca vaccine is people who are below 30 years of age, they are advised to take a Pfizer vaccine or the other ones available there. And this is not to say that there's anything wrong with the AstraZeneca vaccine and rest of the age groups can take it without any problem. But what they have seen is if younger people are taking it, the side effects are much more. Perfect. Um, so we've got one question about whether people can receive the vaccine during their uh, fertility treatments. So that could be IVF or frozen embryo transfers or any of the treatments. Uh, I would say yes. The only thing that probably I would like to say is that if your frozen embryo transfer is being scheduled in next two or three days, not because the vaccine is going to do anything to the embryo, it's more about the side effects. You know, sometimes when you have a vaccine, you might have chills, rigors, fever, muscle aches, etc. And probably that is not the best time to put the embryo in when the body is trying to do something to develop your immunity at that time. That's the only reason that I would say that if it is very close to the point of uh, uh, your embryo transfer, then maybe you just want to postpone it a bit. Just about the men, because I know that uh, somehow the guidance about the men is very limited. So if you're producing the sperm sample, either for the diagnostic or the treatment, again, the same thing. So uh, when you have the jab, sometimes people do run temperature, people have got aches and pains, etc. And we know it from our experience of other illnesses like flu, etc., that the semen is affected if you have got this kind of a transient illness. So maybe they want to avoid the uh, jab. If they are just near the, otherwise there's no uh, nothing to say that you shouldn't be having it whilst you're having the fertility treatment. And is it is it worthwhile for people to delay their fertility treatment until after they've received the vaccine? Um, uh, I wouldn't think so. Uh, I think it actually helps that if you are completely immunized before you are pregnant. And the reason for that is that what they have seen is that if you have COVID during pregnancy, that has been associated with high hospitalization rate, high need for respiratory support and preterm birth, etc. So if you want to be completely sure that you're protected for COVID as much as you could be and you do not want to have severe disease, then probably it's best to have it before you have the fertility treatment. But having said that, there's no contraindication not to have it whilst you're having a fertility treatment as well. So that's fine, any time that you choose to. Um, and if you do have a vaccine first before your fertility treatment, how long uh, do you have to wait before you start your fertility treatment? I think as soon as you start feeling better, so as soon as the side effects go, you do not have to wait for uh, two, three weeks or months, etc. So lots of guidance is coming every day and there's absolutely no reason to wait 
for your fertility treatment at all. So you can start as soon as you start feeling better. Um, if you've donated your eggs or your sperm for others, is that going to have any effect on taking the COVID vaccine? Can you take the COVID vaccination the next day? Absolutely, absolutely. No problems at all. Is there anything else you just wanted to share with people about the vaccine and how it affects, how it doesn't affect fertility in any way? Uh, uh, there, there's no evidence at all to uh, suggest that the COVID vaccination is going to affect your fertility in any way, short term or long term. So my take on this is that everybody who is being offered a vaccine that goes and take the vaccine, especially people who are trying to be pregnant, because you are in an indirect sort of way making your pregnancy much more safer. And the other thing to remember is that the only way that the baby gets the protection is through the mother's milk. So when you breastfeed the baby, your antibodies are passed on to the baby. So uh, people do tend to offer that protection to the babies as well. So I would completely endorse anybody who's trying for fertility. If you are invited, please go and have your vaccine. Great. Thank you. Great. That's wonderful. And I'm sure that'll be very useful to lots of people. Uh, who are considering fertility and the vaccination. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you, Larissa. See you soon for the second series of pregnancy and breastfeeding. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Thank All you. Right. Take care. Bye-bye.